I don't know how many people I've known who are frustrated with their career or business and they feel they should be moving forward, but aren't. If that's you, then this video is for you. Trust me, it probably has nothing to do with your talent, abilities, training, product, or degree. I know because I taught many graduate students who were getting an advanced degree to move their careers forward, and that was the least of their challenges. Even with a new degree, I found that many simply needed to do the following five things to advance. Those that did, move forward. Those that didn't, stayed where they were. I know you're looking for that spark to get moving forward. You want more. You deserve more. You just don't know how to get it. Well, that's why I made this video. This is my acronym for how to put a spark in your career or business. The S stands for speak up for yourself. When I was a freshman in college, one of my professors looked me right in the eye and said, Tim, you better learn to toot your own horn because no one else will do it for you. I have learned a million times over. He was right. You have every right to advocate for yourself. Let me say that again. You have every right to advocate for yourself. You owe it to yourself to speak up. If you have a talent, speak up. If you can lead a project, speak up. If you deserve a raise, speak up. If you earned a promotion, speak up. If you have a great idea, speak up. If you have an opinion, speak up. If you have a great product, speak up. Never miss an opportunity to stand up and speak up for yourself. Others will be better off when you do. The P stands for promote everything. Promoting is basically speaking up with excitement. Whether you own your own business or work for someone else, promote everything. Oscar Wilde said, there's only one thing in the world worse than being talked about. And that's not being talked about. You're doing great things, but people must know about it. Just because you put something on the web or planned a great event doesn't mean they'll find out about it. You can't afford to wait until others notice you. Don't ever apologize or belittle what you're promoting. Be proud of what you're doing. Your excitement is what will get other people excited. If you have some great talents, promote them. If you have some great ideas, promote them. If you have some great projects or products, promote them. Promoting is just a matter of talking about what you want others to know and getting them excited too. The A stands for ask boldly. I see people always trying to circle around others to get their attention. It's like you're sneaking up on them and hoping they'll realize you want something from them. The sooner you learn that people aren't mind readers and never get your subtle hints, the sooner you'll put a spark in your business or career. People don't have time for games or beating around the bush. The higher someone is in an organization, the more they expect you to get to the point. Other people want to see initiative. Being bashful does not pay well. If you're naturally reserved, then asking will seem bold to you. That's okay. You have to make the ask if you want something to happen. So if you're going to ask, you might as well ask for what you really want. If you ask for something less and get it, then you've closed the door on getting anything more. Ask for what you really want. Even if you get less than you asked for, you're still better off than you were before you asked. Be bold. The R stands for repeat the ask. You're selling something if you ask for anything, a job, a raise, a promotion, a proposal, acceptance, or an order. That's right. You must understand that you're trying to sell something to someone else, even if it's a raise or a promotion. 
That means that persistence wins the day. The average sale in business takes five to eight contacts. The sad thing is that as many as 80% of salespeople quit before they have a chance to close the deal because they quit asking. My dad applied this technique of repeating the ask when he was in his 80s and living in a nursing home. He relentlessly asked for better room, new menu items, programs, outings, and anything else he thought would improve life for him and the other residents. Honestly, it was sometimes embarrassing to me, but you know what? He eventually got everything he kept asking for. If you want something to happen, you must repeat the ask as often as necessary. Be polite and don't hassle them, but keep asking. The K stands for keep at it daily. If you want your business or career to take off, you must be excited, engaged, and working on it daily. You can't promote one week and then lay low for six weeks. Be visible daily. So when the right person comes along, they'll see what you need them to see. It's a task that knows that every day will not produce results, but staying at it daily will. The only way to ensure that you're doing the right thing in the right place at the right time is to do it every day and everywhere you go. It's time to light a spark in your business or career. For more acronyms, subscribe to this channel and learn some great insights into living a fuller, more successful, and happier life. Share this with your team, family, classroom, or anyone else you think would experience a better life for knowing how to put a spark in their business or career. If you'd like a poster to remind you of what you learned in this video, follow the link in the description below. For acronyms, I'm Timothy Buchanan. Have a great day. I'm done now, Quigley. Let's go play ball.